What is the status of the following marriages? A marriage between a stepbrother and a stepsister. It will depend on the date of celebration of marriage. If the marriage was celebrated during the effectivity of the civil code but prior to the effectivity of the family code, said marriage is expressly prohibited, therefore, void. However, if the marriage was celebrated from the time the family code took effect, or on or after August 3, 1988, said marriage is no longer prohibited. A marriage between a half-brother and a half-sister. Void for being incestuous. Marriages between brothers and sisters, whether of the full or half-blood, are incestuous and void from the beginning, whether relationship between the parties be legitimate or illegitimate. A marriage which took place five months after the issuance of a marriage license. Void for absence of an essential requisite. A marriage license shall be valid in any part of the Philippines for a period of 120 days from the date of issue, and shall be deemed automatically cancelled at the expiration of the said period if the contracting parties have not made use of it. A marriage contracted by an 18-year-old illegitimate child who obtained the parental consent only of her putative father. Voidable for lack of parental consent. Since illegitimate children are under the exclusive parental authority of their mother, it is the consent of the mother that is required. A second marriage celebrated on August 3, 1984 contracted by a person whose first husband had been missing for four consecutive years, without securing a judicial declaration of presumptive death. Valid. The requirement of securing a judicial declaration of presumptive death for purposes of remarriage applies only to marriages celebrated during the effectivity of the family which took effect on August 3, 1988. Prior thereto, the applicable law is the civil code which does not impose a similar requirement. A marriage where one party was afflicted with a sexually transmissible disease found to be serious and appears to be incurable during the marriage. Valid. For affliction with a sexually transmissible disease STD, to render a marriage voidable, it must either be a, existing at the time of the marriage, or b, concealed and existing at the time of the marriage amounting to fraud in obtaining consent. A marriage which took place with the presence of only three persons, the contracting parties and the solemnizing officer. Valid. The absence of at least two witnesses of legal age is a mere irregularity that shall not affect the validity of the marriage, but the party or parties responsible for the irregularity shall be civilly, criminally and administratively liable. Thanks for watching. Follow me on my other social media accounts at Miss underscore Nota Vini. Be sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever I post. Have you more questions regarding my law school experience or have any recommendations for my next videos? Leave a comment below. See you on the next one.